My name is Yavar Abedi. I'm the Group Business Development Director for Halcro. One of the most interesting projects I've been involved with recently is um, the Seven Barrage, which is a tidal power project uh, in the West of uh, England. The project aims to use the tidal um, cycle, the moving up and down of the tides, to generate a lot of power that, uh, that Britain needs as our power stations age. But the project's very controversial. It's huge. Uh, politically, it's very difficult. There are many environmental issues uh, related to it because it will block the Severn estuary. Uh, so there are very legitimate concerns about the project. But what we've been trying to do in Halcro is to help the government understand the challenge, uh, but understand the necessity for doing something brave like this. When I was trying to make the decision about what I wanted to do, um, I was very interested in physics, that particle physics really fascinated me. But what attracted me to engineering is that I'm an outdoors sort of person. And civil engineering in particular involves working on projects that are outside, that are physical things, large physical things, uh, be it a highway or a dam or a building. And being, having the pleasure of combining a kind of scientific uh, approach with being outside, uh, that's what really attracted me to this, uh, this field. If I had to make the choice again, I think I would do exactly the same thing uh, because it's been incredibly enriching. I've worked all over the world. I've had a chance to contribute to improving the lives of very poor people in very difficult places. It's a, it's a very rich place to be in terms of experience and uh, fulfillment. It's learning and it's working with people. Those are the two things that I find uh, most fulfilling. Um, but at the base of it is the solving of problems. I think in the end, you wouldn't really want to uh, do this if, if you're not intrigued by problems, difficult problems of matching the ability of someone to pay for something with a, a complex issue that they need resolved in some way. Um, it's not about perfection, it's about finding a compromise, to, it's about finding a balance between what you can afford and what you really need to do. Early in my career working on a project that involved a number of dams built in the Canadian wilderness in the north, um, these were important dams, but there, were, there was one very small dam and uh, as a joke one of my colleagues put up a uh, a sign which said Abidi Dam and uh, of course that was not the name of the dam but uh, it had no name it had just a number but it was so exciting to think that this little thing that we would built was a very important component of a large system and that I'd directly contributed in some way to its design and its construction. There are people in my country of origin in Pakistan who are abjectly poor and they have apparently no hope for ever achieving what what most of us take for granted in the West and if I could I'd like to help the you know in some way overcome the obstacles which are all human interestingly there are no technical obstacles to what they need to achieve they're all obstacles about politics about so social structure about economics things that I'm not an expert in, but if I could, I would like to help overcome those.